The Airbus A220 is hands down the most important aircraft design of the last 18 years. Thanks to the fact that many airlines are currently facing the problem of massive overcapacity on most ongoing regular routes, its entry into the airline market is likely to go down in history as being timed dead nuts perfectly. Want to know about it? Well, stay tuned to the video and watch the video till the end. Hello guys, welcome to another exciting video from Aviation News. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get new updates on aviation. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why the Airbus A220 is the best-selling airplane in the world. So without further ado, let's begin. The Airbus A220 is a departure from the normal naming convention adopted by Airbus since their first success story, the A300. The A220 is lighter in weight due to its design and materials used and this helps to lower the fuel consumption and make the plane more fuel efficient and affordable. In addition, this specially designed Pratt & Whitney PW1500G geared turbofan GTF engine nips fuel when compared to other engines, even on the more modern A320s or 737s. As airlines push to become more sustainable, the A220s speak for a path toward the future rather than the reliance on older outdated technology and design. With a wide range of 3,500 nautical miles, the A220 can fly non-stop from New York to London and Tokyo to Singapore. This aircraft, similar in size to smaller models of the 737s, has the range to safely connect destinations on separate continents in a way that only larger and powerful and more expensive aircraft could do before. Smaller and more fuel-saving airplanes are more profitable on extensive routes. As Breeze Airways plans, the A220 is the perfect size for point-to-point -point utility and improves previously uneconomic options. Because of this, likely most cost-effective aircraft will use this plane to overfly larger airline hubs and fly non-stop in other segments that currently require a hopping connection. The European company, which took guardianship of the former Bombardier jet in 2017, is also upgrading its ability to fulfill multiple roles traversing short hops between cities to longer trips on routes with a limited demand, Antonio da Costa, Airbus's marketing chief for single-aisle planes, said in an interview. We can't say we're in a seller's market, but we do see good prospects, said. The A220 is well positioned because it offers low functional costs, a flexible platform for long and short missions, and is building on a good demand base. The glimpses of an object have little to do with how well it will sell in the market. It's a great looking airplane and that is likely to be the driving element for at least a few orders. The use of composites in the airframe of the A220s and its from scratch modern designs also means lower overall maintenance costs for the life of the airplane. Maintenance describes a large expenditure for airplanes, especially as they age in their fleet and having some control of this is helpful. As more of the planes are sold and deployed, third-party support will also grow, promoting the efficiency of long-term maintenance. It's hard to make a blue and off-white all-economy cabin look attractive, but the high ceilings and large windows of the A220 frame, together with what has been confirmed as Collins Aerospace's Meridian Seat product, work well with a small lick of red that is the Air France ribbon mark. The seats themselves are broad and modern with various conveniences – a phone and tablet holder, a cup holder, and a full-sized table. While no full AC sockets are visible or mentioned in Air France's material, the availability of both USB-A and USB-C power sockets should keep most gadgets charged up for the duration of what are relatively quick flights. All in all, the cabin is effective and very French. It's an elegant bit of painting within the numbers of the A220's best single aisle cabin and those numbers remain industry-leading even more than half a decade after the reporter first ascended aboard a test aircraft, then called the C-Series in Europe in early 2015 and boarded meetup flights a year later in Dublin. Still, the A220 is the best technologically advanced commercial aircraft known in its size category and World Airlines will benefit from its deployment. 
With that, we've come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video.